In this class we will see biomolecules. Biomolecules give instructions to our body. They are energy storage and are an essential source of energy. We are going to study carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins. Add them all. So, carbohydrates are energy for our cells. They are made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen in a ratio of 1, 2, and 1. Let's explain this. In other words, for each carbon atom, there are two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Easy, right? Types of carbohydrates. Simple. Monosaccharides, one sugar molecule. A structure, a strange chain configuration or ring configuration. Disaccharides, two sugar molecules. A structure, pairs of rings. Complex, polysaccharides, more than two sugar molecules. Structure, many rings linked together. They are composed of monosaccharides. Example. Let's see now lipids. Lipids are non-polar organic compounds that come in three forms, fats and oils, steroids, and phospholipids. Fats and oils, they are chemically very similar. In fact, the only difference between a fat molecule and an oil molecule is the number of carbon-to-carbon -carbon double bonds in the fatty acids. A fat molecule is bigger. It has many carbon-hydrogen bonds. Steroids play a structural roles as part of cell membranes and hormonal roles as sex hormones. Examples Testosterone, Cholesterol, Progesterone Phospholipids Phospholipids are important molecules that provide structure and protection to our cells. They have one polar part that is the phosphate group and the rest is non-polar. Let's continue with Proteins Proteins are long chains of amino acids linked together by peptide bonds. They are the most complex and abundant biological macromolecules in cells. Created using Powtoon.